Hey everybody, welcome to another Whip Wednesday stream. We actually didn't move the mic at all. Um, but it looks like it's fine where it is though. So, I don't know, do you think we should move it closer or... Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we just didn't move it. But like, I mean, I think it seems like it's fine. Yeah. Where if it's we, at, yeah, so... Yeah, so if we have horrible audio, please let us let know. Let us know. But... We totally forgot to set our mic up, even though it's, it's literally right in front of it's us. It's right in front of us, and it's not really that <clears throat> far from where it would usually be anyway. It's not optimal spot, but... Uh... I think it's fine. Anyway, welcome to another Whip Wednesday. <laughs> welcome to another Whip Wednesday. I'm Liz Ferry. I'm Joey. Um, so, um, this is maybe going to be another short one. I always say that, but it sometimes is not. Right. <laughs> but, um, we'll just stop presuming and then we'll just find yeah, out. Yeah, maybe I should just, yeah, maybe I should just stop presuming. But, um, I'm going to start off just by one more time showing you guys my horse and centaur because I do have a whip that I've been working on that is in the same vein as these. But, um, this, uh, this tutorial just is about, I think it's about to end this week maybe potentially maybe is it this week i'm not sure actually <laughs> <laughs> i think part four so is coming you almost have it all the way up. i'm pretty sure i've i've been working on tutorials so much you guys i'm just so i'm i'm so tired <laughs> but um i'm pretty sure part four is about to come out on friday of this week and then um the last parts of the tutorial that are coming out the next week are going to be the main and the tail right. so that's like gonna finish it up that part is like not part of the pattern, I guess. So that's coming out after. So um, if you're interested in these guys, then check out the channel and you can find the tutorial for those. Yeah. And you can also find, you can also find the written pattern, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> you can also find the written pattern in my Ravelry store if you, if you're into finding this written pattern. And that, that way you can also have access to the entire project right now instead of having to wait until the next part of the right. tutorial comes out. But, um, so this is the whip that I have from that pattern. It's another centaur that I've been working on. This is actually the one that I was working on for the, the photos that I made for the pattern. And I finished it up to a certain point and then I decided I didn't like it and I just chopped off its tail and like right. removed its eyes. <laughs> because I just decided I didn't really like that color scheme, but I kind of used that because that was the color scheme that I just used for in the pattern. And then the the hair that she had was actually this wig that I had for my Connie, right. but like because it's a wig, I was able to just pull it off of Connie and use it for this doll. So, um, so yeah, I ended up deciding not to go with the black hair style in the end just because I did that for my other horse, and I'm kind of just like... I'm kind of just like, I don't know, I'm like a little over just this design. It's like, I, it's nice, but I would like to do something that looks a little different. Right. So um, this is what she kind of sort of looks like for the thumbnails of the of the um, pattern. But like, uh, uh, also this is a wig, so it can come off. And she had brown eyes, but I cut them out because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like them anymore. And her black tail is also gone now. And I'm also... Even questioning, yeah, debating, the, debating hoops. the hoops a little bit. I'm debating um, chopping them off and maybe changing them out for a more light color hooves because I'm almost thinking of maybe making her a more light color horse mm. in the end, actually. So I might take these off and maybe change them for a more like buttery color, right. maybe, or something like that, mm -hmm. and then make her hair like a more light, like blondish color or something oh, like good. that, maybe. Like, Maybe with like some green eyes or something. Yeah. I just didn't want to do do like the exact same design for this doll that I've been doing for every other doll. So I just cut out all of those things. So in a way I finished more of her and then I undid a bunch. <laughs> so this is like, and it is still more finished than it was when I showed you guys right. last, um, two weeks ago when we had our last whip stream. So, um, so there's the first one. I'm going to put this wig back on Connie real quick. Right. Let her have hair again. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I just recently finished Connie, and I think this is, like, the first, um, I find, this is the first time I've, like, been able to show you guys what she looks like with her wig on and, like, her whole body. So let me show you her real yeah, quick. let's get a close-up. Yeah, well, you can't really see her very well on this camera. Yeah, yeah. She's, like, well, her skin is, like, a really dark shade, so it's, the, the camera has trouble seeing her very well. But, yeah, here's Connie with her wig. 
I'm almost thinking of maybe recurling some of it just because, like, it was in a box for more move for a long time, and some right. of the curls got a little squashed, so I might recurl her hair a little bit. But, um... But yeah, I just really like how this color looks for Connie. I haven't sewn her arms on yet. I thought I did that. <laughs> I must have sewed somebody oh, else's arms off. on. Oh, no. I'm losing track of how many things I've I've got going. Yeah, like, you are juggling quite. I have bad. so much projects going all at once. This is like just the problem that I have. It's pure madness. Yeah, but yeah, Connie is almost no, that, done, and I love her little cute. shorts that we found. I know. Yeah, those. they're not they're not accurate, I guess, to the character. But I feel like Connie would wear those. Yeah, probably. But yeah, no, yeah, I'm just glad. Outfits a little bit. Yeah, no, they they definitely go with her color scheme that her character has. Right. But yeah, I'm thinking of maybe making her her little yellow shirt with her little sun on it that she wears, and I think that would go really nice with these little shorts. But yeah, that's just um the first outfit that I'll put on her, maybe. But I'm going to probably try to make a bunch of outfits for her, because that's the whole point, really, of making these dolls, um, of making these dolls with all of their clothes, like, removable and, like, um, so that I can, and all of their wigs removable, right. so that I can fully, like change out their outfits and give them multiple different outfits right, and have totally. like a full set because that's my like that's like the goal with my crystal gems that i'm doing right now is to just have them at a place where i can make all of the outfits instead of having to make a new doll every time i want to make one of the gems right, outfits because totally. they have so many outfit changes in that show it's ridiculous like serious i would be You'd end up with like three or four of each of the gems yeah if i had to do that my channel would just become nothing but <laughs> but steven universe dolls and there's nothing and that's wrong the, with that there's nothing but... wrong with that some people do do like nothing but steven universe dolls and that's right. like their whole thing practically but like I don't. I don't know. There's like so much more things that I want to do. Right. I do want to do a lot of Steven Universe. We do dolls, love uh, some Steven Universe, though. Definitely. Yeah. No. It's definitely my favorite show right now. Well, I shouldn't say right now. Like if it's going right now. I know, right? Oh. Okay. So um. So yeah, that's the first set of whips that I wanted to show you guys. Let me put these guys away over here. And what's up, Christ? Or next? Hmm. I guess Greg, since we were talking about Steven Universe, yeah. he's still attached to some yarn, so be careful with him. I posted a whip picture of Greg last week on Whip Wednesday, and at that point I had, like, I had just finished, like, his upper torso, and now I'm starting to get into, like, more of his body so like <laughs> i didn't really want to like post a picture of the rest of the progress just because of what specifically <laughs> i'm working on now because i just started working on like his booty and i just thought like posting that as my whip picture would be a little bit yeah. silly just because of bit. how how like accurately i guess i try i tend to make the dolls right. look in the booty department but um i'll show you guys a close-up of this greg right now all right, so um, I think I did a pretty good job of picking the colors. Yeah, no, I think that looks good the, between the like the sunburnt part and uh, and his pale skin. Tone. Yeah, and also his little his little five o'clock shadow that he's got going too. Right. And then here is the booty. Oh, demonetized! No, oh no! no. <laughs> it does look pretty good though. Got to admit. Yeah. <laughs> And in a bit, he just stands perfectly too. It's like it's a, it's, <laughs> it's like a chess piece. <laughs> <laughs> no, he probably, yeah, no, he, he he probably would. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah no, he can stand perfectly yeah. fine. It's like one <clears throat> giant leg. It's new goal. Just make a whole set of chess pieces, <laughs> but just like that. But yeah, check Min that out. Minimalist. Whoa. There's the inside view. The look inside. Yeah, because you never really, really get to see that because I'm usually already past this point when I show you guys my whips. Right. I tend to not show them when they're, like, before a certain p stage of readiness. But it is interesting to see, like, the preliminary stages. Right, yeah. And this is, like... pretty soon you're going to put armature and, and stuff. Yeah, I part, actually right? have... <laughs> I have his skeleton going in the distance over there, but it's still actually connected to the wire that I'm twisting it right, from. So I didn't want to, like... Yeah, yet. so I didn't want to bring it out so that it wouldn't be, like... I don't know, just like a bunch of wire spool potentially unraveling right, on yeah, us while no, we're trying that's... to juggle stuff. I didn't think that would be convenient. But yeah, maybe next time I'll show you guys the armature when it's all finished and inside of his body when he's got his little robot arms going. Like, that'll be fun. 
So yeah, I'm pretty excited for Greg because I've wanted to make Greg for a long time. That's actually specifically what I bought this yarn for. I hunted for this yarn for ages, and it took <laughs> right. forever to the find hunt, a yarn that would for work that specific for specific tone. Yeah, exactly. One that would be like a really good like sunburn shade for comparing to this other shade that I used for his right. regular skin tone. And then also it'll be fun to do, like, the arms and legs because, like, I'm pretty sure the only other part that's going to be sunburned is, like, the t-shirt down on his arms, right? Like, I'm pretty sure it's, t-shirt like... T-shirt and pretty sure his legs. Like, are his legs? Yeah, and then Yeah, I no, I don't noticed, remember. I don't remember. I have, I have to look at it And also I did down. just notice yeah. that he has, um, he has little flip-flop, um pale spots on his feet. oh does he that's yeah. cool okay so good. that's wearing, a cool so that's a cool little detail when whatever happened to make him all <laughs> to make him permanently sunburned yeah. in a in that exact pattern totally yeah no i know i know your fan theories <laughs> 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 but anyways <laughs> but yeah that would be a cool little detail to um to include yeah in the design of the of the color changes on the body but yeah, I'm excited though, because this is the first time I've done a male doll with this body type. So I'm excited. And of course, I haven't written it down. I really need to write things down. Oh yeah, and side note, what I did write down, I wish I had it with me, but <laughs> I didn't I didn't bring it because I haven't worked on it yet. But um, I have that Yoshi that I've been working on for a while. And I'm thinking, um, because I'm probably not going to be able to get time to work on any of the tutorial for it um, before Easter or anything. Right. So I think I'm just going to post my current rough draft pattern of it to Patreon, just so Patreons can get it, like, before Easter if you want to do, like, an Easter Yoshi project. Yeah, I know I have a bunch of other Easter Yoshi. Yoshi eggs. Yeah, I have a bunch of other Yoshi themed content on my channel. So if you want to complete your Yoshi yarn collection with my <laughs> with my um Yoshi set, then I'm just gonna put that up on Patreon. So if you guys want to donate on Patreon, you can find a link in the description. Pretty sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pretty sure it's down there. Yeah. Um But if you guys donate to Patreon, then I'll be posting that later on in the month. Um, the current state of it. I'm pretty sure that I have it pretty close to finished. I'll just finish up the rest of the rough draft that I have so far on paper and I'll just like upload like a, a scan or a photo of it and then I guess you guys can like suffer through my terrible <laughs> handwriting if you want to do that. <laughs> but like I probably won't have time to like type it up and do all of the scripts and all of the pattern testing and all of the filming and all of that before Easter. So just right. if you guys want to do it before then. Otherwise, I will eventually get to making the tutorial and the pattern. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to the next Hi, one. Dean. Oh, it's D. Hi. <laughs> Cute. Um, what's my next thing? What even is there? Oh yeah, hand me Pearl. Pearl is the next thing. She's kind of under there though. There's one random thing that I did with Pearl. I don't know if you guys saw the um, photo that I posted of Hair's Pearl. <laughs> um, I posted a photo of my Pearl progress so far on the community tab and also on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, you should do that because I've been posting a lot more stuff recently. And I yeah. posted some really cool um, photos and videos recently of just some of my progress and like stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's looked pretty nice. But with this pearl, I did like a really, really cool shot that I'm like super proud I was able to do. Yeah, no, because, this like, is intense. Yeah, I was able to like get her to like. I at work and I couldn't believe, you know, <laughs> that just that she was able to get this to happen. Yeah, because I did do this while you were away. But I was able to get her to balance on one toe, not like balance perfectly, because I actually like, um, I pinned her down <laughs> the way that I got this photo. I pinned her down to the carpet essentially with like just a bunch of regular sewing pins. And I was able to pin down her toe and balance her body in a way that I did get her into like a little like ballet position pose and if you guys want to see the photo of that that's on my Instagram you can follow me at fairy ring uh, no not fairy rings Liz fairy yeah. Liz fairy that's my name I gotta remember that <laughs> <laughs> Liz fairy that's you no no it's because I confuse it with the name of the channel it's probably not great for branding I probably shouldn't do that but uh, yeah, whatever it's, it's the name of the What's channel done is done. <laughs> oh thanks D Thanks, Dee. Yeah, I know. The, this pearl came out really, really nice. Oh, yeah, but... and you're barely late, by the way, Dee. Like, we, <laughs> we won't, the, we've only gone through a little bit. Like, all that we've... I just showed this. It's just a, It's just more yeah. horse stuff, you know. More you can you can go back more, in the video, more, but we... we... <laughs> it's more horsing around. <laughs> but, um, so for Pearl, really, all the work that I've done on her, you might already be able to tell, is I did one of her slippers and socks. 
I'm not completely done with it yet. You still can see a couple of tails hanging down. But the other thing that I want to do is I want to line the um, the outside of the shoe and the sock just to give it a more clear defined line. And let me show you guys that um, closer up. So yeah, here's what I have so far. I actually used embroidery floss to make this, which um, I haven't really made them. Uh, I haven't really made clothes out of embroidery floss for a while. Wow, that is shiny. <laughs> <laughs> right with the light on it i'm gonna turn the light turn down, down a little, little bit. bit just because pearl is so pale that you don't really need it let me turn it on just a tad just, just a just a tad just enough to get the the light okay. of the keo and not and not the just the <clears throat> yeah not just the, the ceiling light. light yeah totally but yeah i really like how this is turning out i think the colors that i picked were really good um but one thing that i do want to do is i want to do like some stitching just here around the edge just to make it like look like two separate pieces instead of just a funky colored sock <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a big multicolored. it's like those socks that make it look like you're wearing shoes yeah no totally just a sock. totally but yeah i want to make all of pearl's outfits so bad i i don't think it's hard to pick a favorite gem from steven universe obviously <laughs> But yeah, no, that's ridiculous. and I don't I don't think Pearl is like my favorite. I love Pearl. I love her so much. She's like uh, poor Pearl. But like I think I love her outfits the most. Maybe. Right. I think maybe <clears throat> I just really like Pearl's outfits. And then the other thing that I do appreciate about, about Pearl's outfits is how simple they are. Like they're so like they're so pretty, but they're so like like simple and like like um. I don't know, like, um, the colors are super vibrant and plain and just, like, primary colors that I really... Right, totally. It's, like, super unsaturated, like, soft primaries, which I really like. And just, like, the fact that she's just wearing, like, shorts and a shirt with, like, cute little embellishments, like this little bow and stuff like that. And, like... And I do love her little, like, ballerina aesthetic, like, motif that she has and how they kind of incorporate it into her costume, but without it, like, being overdone. Yeah. Like, I love that. They don't make I it super that. over yeah. the top like she's a ballerina. They yeah, just, exactly. Like, subtly work it into her outfit. Yeah, it's, like, almost more just ballerina-inspired fashion rather than, like, she's just a ballerina, which I appreciate. And then I also like how they kind of incorporate her, like, dance-like related stuff into her, like style of like fighting and martial arts and stuff yeah. which is really really cool and like super like empowering and awesome and i love pearl so much and i mean like obviously all of them are super awesome and empowering in like a lot of other ways and different ways for each character but i do just like how pearl's costume design is and i mean like honestly i think my favorite gem is garnet but I feel like that's almost not fair because it's hard right. not to not to think your those, favorite like, gem is Garnet. A little bit. Well, or yeah. Just, well, like, I mean, because she's obvious. she's like two people and yeah. she's like canonically amazing. So I mean, like it's hard not to pick her because she's like supposed to be the most amazing character right. practically. <clears throat> but yeah, then the other thing I have to do is I have to curl Pearl's little little bangs still. I curled them once, but I don't think I like went far enough. I was a little like. Um, hesitant with my curling so I really need to just curl it all the way down to her gem so that all of the curls are just at the gem and then right. I think I need to trim them so that they're like short short and just curling right around the gem area right. she's so cute <laughs> and then I just really love this pearl like um because I've made a couple of pearls now how many pearls have I made or is this just my second pearl how many pearls have I made? Not sure. This might just be my second tend pearl. To get away and <laughs> melt into each other. It's hard to remember. How I think many. I have only made two pearls. I've made a couple of Stevens. I've made like four or five Stevens, but I think I've only made two pearls. And this is also my second. It's con. fitting for there to be a whole fleet of Stevens. Yeah, that makes sense. But you know, but yeah, I think this is probably my best pearl. And I love how her hair came out. I love the color. It's so beautiful. Some of freaking Greg's skin tone for his tan is in there a little bit. There's right, some, just little highlights. Just, yeah, some of her peachy highlights. And then also that's the <clears> next <throat> thing that I kind of wanted to show you guys is that wig that I've been working on, which is also that same color. And that's the other reason why I really needed to work on Greg, because I was using that color for too many other things, and I did not want to run out of it <laughs> before I make Greg. No, you got him for, for this specific <laughs> It took forever to find that color. So, I mean, I don't want to, like... I don't want to run out before I used it for its intended purpose. 
But yeah, I'm super excited for my crystal gems. I feel super bad about poor Garnet because she's so hard to make because she's like, there's so much like detail to her right, outfit totally. that like I just <clears throat> haven't gotten around to working on hardly any of her yet. And Pearl's costume is practically like the easiest thing. So it's like I've already practically finished hers. So, so like, next? oh, give me the, that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the next. I haven't really done very much work on her, um, on her herself, just the wig. But yeah, I'll show you guys but the. Here's my bunny, piece, my bunny girl that is coming along, um, and yeah, no, you know, I'm definitely gonna have to change out her cardigan just because, like, like it just looks great, yeah, it almost doesn't it? Out a little it looks bit. it looks so great yeah. compared to the rest of her color scheme. But yeah, I had that pink hoodie on her last time that I showed you guys. I'm not sure um, where is it still over there? Yeah, there it is. I need that pink hoodie. I had this pink hoodie on her, which I liked the color of it on her a lot more, but like like the hood was just it wasn't really feasible with like how big yeah, well, her hair and with her ears and yeah. like there was just too much bulk on her like on her head and on her back so it wasn't really feasible to give her a hoodie so i ended up switching out the hoodie and i did have this cardigan that i already had and i tried it on her but i was just not convinced and like now i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna have to change it because like it just looks gray on her and I didn't want her to have a gray hoodie <laughs> and I just think that the um the color scheme of her clothes like is just too dark now because of that I think I need to brighten up her color a little more especially with like this hair like this hair is so like bright and like pastel that it's like weird for all of her clothes to be just dark and shady you know what I mean it just doesn't I feel like it doesn't work as well for the character yeah, no, totally. You can definitely. It seems even more so on the camera. Actually. Oh yeah, you can see. But yeah, like, here. <clears throat> how great out here is a closer view. It looks a little tiny bit better on this camera, but like not really. That is definitely much more accurate to what it does look like in real life. Right. But I still like. I just don't like it. I just don't like that color on her. So I think maybe I want to do something like this, but just not this color. I'm not sure what color though. Like I did, I did like that rosy pink on her, but the thing is, that yarn is gone now, oh. and there's no getting that yarn back. It's given up. Is that the what ghost. discontinued? Pretty sure it is, yeah. <laughs> or unless they started remaking it, like unless it was like a seasonal one or something. But like I have tried to find to find that cool pink yarn. That's the yarn that I originally used for my rose quartz doll's hair, and it was so beautiful and glorious and perfect. But they don't make it's it anymore. Too good to be so, true. Yeah, it's they, they had to get rid of it. Yeah, no, I know. My bunny girl is really yeah. coming along. I'm loving her so much. Yeah. And I do love this skirt on her. <clears throat> like, I really like that um, element. But I just think that with every other element that she has, the cardigan is just too dark. It needs to be brightened up. I'm not sure what color would be nice on her, but just something, like, softer and brighter. You know what I mean? Right. Hmm. Not as, like, washed out and grayed out. But, um... And um, I did also work on her garters a little bit. I have this pinned down, so it's not sewn to the corset quite yet. But um, That looks cute, though, just with it being... And I did and... the lacy garter on one side. This is all, like, thread that's been, like, painstakingly crocheted with, like... <laughs> I think they were like shells of like just four or five double crochets, but it's all like actual sewing thread. Like all of this is like literally thread. So it was like hard to crochet with. Like it took kind of a long yeah, time for how tiny of a piece it is. And it looks a bit messy, but I mean, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I think it would kind of be impossible to undo it without just cutting it all off. Yeah, you no, know what I mean? It's too, like, too fine. Everything. Would... It would just tangle up. Yeah. I did try to undo a little bit of it just while I was, I mean, like, I, I, succe I succeeded at it because, I mean, I didn't, like, end up having to cut out the whole thing. But I, like, messed up a couple of stitches and had to, like, frog a little bit a couple mm -hmm. of times. And it was hard to frog, but I was determined. So I got it done. But like, oh my god, it looks a bit of a mess. But I think on that scale, it just looks like a la like lace, I guess. Yeah. So I think it, I think I got away with it. I think it looks cute. It looks messy from up close, but trust me, it looks cute from far away, yeah, no. from like the scale that it is. <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up putting, um, I ended up cutting the ribbon at the back, which I was reluctant to do, but I did end up cutting the ribbon shorter at the back for the corset and using that to make the tie on both sides this one i haven't attached yet because i haven't done the the garter on the other side because i was not going to do that 
<laughs> twice <laughs> back to back. It just took such a long time and it was like a little bit frustrating. <laughs> right, and get it done. So, yeah. It's like, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah, so take I'm going to take a little break from working Skip on her for a little right. while. But I'm loving how she's coming along. And thank you, Dee. You're so sweet. Yeah, thanks so, so much for all of your compliments, especially Dee. And anyone else that's joined us or that's, you know, watching, we really appreciate you guys. And I cannot wait to do the tutorial for these fishnets because I think these are lovely and I feel like this would be like, I really want to try making a pair for um, one of the Barbies actually. Right. Just yeah, to see if I cool. can. Because I feel <clears throat> like it would be pretty like easy to do because I mean, it's literally just elastic. You know what I mean? And like, did I use two strands? I'm pretty sure I used two strands of elastic for this. Like when I... um when I did the fishnets for this doll. So if I just used one, maybe it would be easier to like get it to be scaled down even smaller. But yeah, no, I think, um, I think it's gonna come out really nice. I'm excited about this doll. <laughs> and then I'm yeah, also- no, she's come so far. Yeah, and me really the, the other one is the cat girl cause she's the next one that's going to be in the same style. Oh yeah, there she is. I haven't really done that that much work on her. All I did since the last time was the tail. She finally has a tail. Her robot tail is covered. So um, I'm also super excited about her. I'm a little like, I have a little bit of like worries about her ears and how good that's going to look, but I think I'll be able to figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> But yeah, let me show you guys this closer up. So yeah, I, I just um, basically just made a, a, a magic circle and then like just kept it going like for a few rows of brown and then I changed colors and then changed colors again. Yeah. And I am going to try to blend all of these colors later on before I brush her out with like some in-between shades that I pretty sure I have. <laughs> Cause it is really, really hard to find um, nice, like, I don't know, to find like different shades of browns. Like literally these are the only two options, generally speaking with yarn. So it's a little bit frustrating, like how you can't really find any nuance with like right. browns particularly yeah like uh, compared to other colors like, it's all just like same, do like, you want or light brown shades. or dark brown yeah. and like those are the only two shades that are possible apparently but um we just don't know how to brown yeah the only thing that you can really try to do is try to find certain like brands or also if you're lucky try to find like a particular dye lot that just happened to come out like a, I know, a right? shade totally. darker or lighter or like before, redder too, than, where it's like yeah we'll see totally. like just this very slight color difference and mm -hmm. we'll and think it's, it's like a get that color. one because it's like yeah it's, right. that's the one that's... that we need to get but yeah um but yeah, it's like, it's just frustrating. But I think I have gotten enough browns over time that I might be able to find a couple that will blend these two colors nicely and then blend these two colors right. nicely. I kind of, um, I kind of did kind of use like the middle colors that I had on purpose just so that I would have colors that would go like in between these two that I could blend with later. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this design as well. And this one is almost more like the same proportions as the Barbie, except I gave her like slightly longer legs. And obviously her feet are like huge compared <laughs> to the Barbie's feet. <sighs> and I'm probably going to give her blue eyes just because that's like a whole Siamese cat thing. Yeah. But yeah, Kitty and Bunny Girl are like, one of my favorite projects that I have going right now and I'm like yeah, no, super excited super for them cute. to like be completed and for this one I'm not like one of the things that's just been like I've had a hard time picturing I guess is just like how I'm going to like style her you know right because this one I've kind of had a picture in my head I guess a lot of how I wanted to style her but this one not really not so much yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to have to, like, so. draw some more random, like, pictures and just, like, I don't know, just look up random other stuff. If you guys have any ideas, leave a comment. Yeah, totally. It's always nice to hear 
different perspectives on yeah for on sure some of the stuff that it's another reason why it's just nice to have like work in progress stuff because sometimes you'll get ideas from right, other people totally. that just you wouldn't have thought up on your own oh and hand me the that fellow that reminds me of another thing that like and with with this guy this is this might actually be the guy that this happens with but um so this is the male doll that i have a tutorial for the it's like the muscular doll that i have a tutorial for on the channel and um so i did a little bit of work on him i actually stitched his like crotch together a little bit more <laughs> and and his booty to give it more of that like um i guess to give it a more realistic shape like i've done with some of my girl dolls re recently I love the bunny girl's facial expression too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's like crazy just because I used to kind of be bad at doll faces and that's like the main reason why they were kind of so right. like, hand me the other doll. Like, because this is what my doll faces like generally would always look like. Yeah, you can you see them. This is the one that I made in the ma basic tutorial. But like the the difference Should between... Close up difference. Yeah, like... Here, let's... So this is the basic face. This is actually the doll that I made in the the doll pattern that I have on the channel. Um, and then here is my uh, my new face style that I've been doing with just like more um, embroidery around the eyes and like yeah. giving and that them one, an you, actual. You obviously like, went for more of a bunny shaped face. Too, yeah, and this one does have more of a bunny shaped yeah. face rather than like a realistic shape. Um, and speaking of that, I've been I'm like about halfway through this guy's face, so let me show you like an in between point kind of because I did start them with that other style. Like this was like yeah, it does. Start they do with start the off like this, and then they turn into this. And then they, after that, turn into the, well, actually, I have another, hand me that other doll, yeah. because I have another doll whose face is yes. mostly done. One more. She's, like, really, really close, but here's her almost finished face. And this one I had to do a lot more sculpting on, just right. because she's, like, an older doll, so she had a lot more holes, like, in her face. But, um, oh, the camera likes her. I know, right? <laughs> that means I did a good job because guys, this, this camera can recognize faces. And so you guys kind of are seeing like the prototypes of, cause Liz is like just figuring out how to, how to do this. Yeah. I don't this think is we've like, really seen any like thing else like this too before. Like, I don't know. Just, I really like the, the style of what you're doing and how you're able to get the, the shapes out of the material you're working with. And then you can see the inside of her mouth right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, right. I forgot about that. She's like, mm. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I wanted to give her like teeth and then kind of black out the sides so that you could see like her tongue behind her teeth when you open up her lips. And I do want to give her like lip color, but right now this is all I have. So like, it's just kind of funny. <laughs> She's like, all right, let's close that back up. <laughs> and yeah, her eyes aren't finished quite yet. They're just like a big flat, <laughs> right. a big flat green disc. I still have to put the black... Um, for the pupils and the white for the shines. But yeah, this one is, I did do a little bit more work on the face than I did last time. Right. I did like, um, I did a bunch of sculpting around her eyes. Um, because this was such an old doll, like she had like a lot of gaps to fill in and I kind of built up the face slowly over time. But um, she does have a lot more work on her done than I did in the last time that I showed you guys this doll. And you can see some of her iris color popping out here that I have to still, <laughs> still have to sew in. Whoops. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah, this is like the middle stage kind of. And thanks for the compliments, Dean. Thank Liz you. This does have very great ideas. <laughs> so, I know, yeah. It's just trippy seeing this amount of detail in, uh, in crochet dolls. Yeah, I think that the stitching really makes, like, a huge difference just with shaping the body and the face. Like, it does make a huge difference. And that's the other reason why I've kind of been saving this doll, because she is the one that was from the original tutorial and I've kind of been saving her face and body work because I kind of want to use her for the um for the tutorial that I want to eventually make for like stitching the body and the face right so I've kind of just been saving her I think I'm gonna actually do like a full tutorial for her um for her uh 
just her full like creation from start to finish i guess kind of right because I do have some plans for this doll. Some of you guys that have been watching for a while have probably seen her before in her actual clothing that she has. But um, I've been making her with, like, like the flowers, like, draped all over her body. And I recently just took them off just because I do want to shape her body more. And I do want to make, a, like, a video of showing putting to her together. So, like, I've been kind of slowly building that over time because she's been taking, like literally forever <laughs> d you're so sweet oh my god <laughs> too much too sweet but yeah i think that was the last one so yeah, right right and the basket is empty <laughs> well this one wasn't as long as the ones that we've been doing right, of we late did actually go through it a little bit quicker which is funny because like because, like, we've had two weeks off, so you'd think I'd have more to show you guys. Right. Oh, yeah, that's another Weird. thing that I randomly should have shown you guys. Um, I cut her feet off. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. That was unexpected. Um, I guess because she was such an old doll, like, I just didn't like how I was doing the feet back well, then. So I just cut fly. them. <laughs> I know, right? She can't stand up anymore. But, yeah, I had to cut them off because they just didn't look nice. And I had, like, different plans for what I wanted to do with her feet now. So I just cut them off, frogged them a little bit, and I'm just going to refinish them in a different style now. So that's another update on that doll. And also I started pulling apart the strands of her hair a little bit. And I might, like, recurl them just because I want to make her wig nicer. Well, I shouldn't say wig. It's attached to her head. But, um, but yeah. So that's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know i t i'm definitely like attached to a lot of these dolls i guess like yeah. i've been working on them forever um or it feels that way anyway for some of them yeah. at, at some it point, takes a while we might get to a point yeah no really like i think start i start selling some of these but, i think um, i do want to do that with like with um a lot of like the fairy dolls and like the centaurs and stuff like that but the um the crystal gems those are mine yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Some I of, just um, want to have the crystal gems just, for just myself. For us, yeah. But um, but yeah, like the fairies and stuff. I also have thought about like just having like like I don't know like um, what do you call it? Like giveaways and stuff for like Patreon and then like like I don't know stuff like that. We don't really have enough people on Patreon to be able to do stuff like that though because it's not really like interesting or exciting to have a giveaway with literally like two or three people. <laughs> right. Which one of these two people will get the item? Who will win? Who knows? I don't know. No, but like Oh, love you too, D. It's yeah, always nice no, seeing that's you here. Super sweet. Thank you. We love all of you guys that watch us regularly and yeah, are subscribed I know. here. We, it's we can't believe how far this is. I know like, we're, we're really, we're really so close to ten thousand subscribers. Yeah, and also another thing is the channel anniversary is actually is tomorrow. tomorrow. So tomorrow is the fifth year, I believe, anniversary of the day that I first posted a video. So we might actually do like a little little something something tomorrow, just like for funsies. So there might actually be like a short stream tomorrow at the same time, just like. Just like a quick little fun thing that we're maybe yeah. going to do. So look out for that if you guys are interested yeah, in that. Totally. But yeah, we really appreciate all the support you guys yeah, have given us. Time. And especially all the, the nice compliments and encouraging Serious. Um, comments and stuff. So yeah, it and means it, a lot. It really, really does like... It, it does so much, like, for... Because there are, like, a couple of, like, I guess, like, mean comments that I get sometimes. And it really helps a lot how much, like, how supportive you guys are of what I'm doing. And, like, it really makes it feel like it's, like... It makes it feel like it's all, like, worth it to go through all of that stuff and, like... Yeah, because... <laughs> and, like, in, do all of the work that it takes to do all this stuff. Because Liz puts in a lot of hours for all this work that... Yeah. So, to make this content, so... Yeah, so we appreciate you guys, and we're, like so blown away by how much like how like big this channel has gotten like in this amount of time so thanks so much for watching you guys and we'll actually see you guys tomorrow yeah, so um so. we'll see you guys then yeah. <laughs> good well, night thanks everybody for watching, guys bye let's do that